Okay, here's uh, one tree. It's elm. It's a pretty easy one, actually, once you see it. Okay. Double serration around the uh, around the edge, meaning it has one big tooth, one small tooth, one big tooth, one small tooth. Uh, really prominent veins. Uh, the really obvious thing, though, is the base of the leaf is asymmetrical, meaning one side is bigger than the other. So I always say that actually one bump cheek is bigger than the other bump cheek. Whatever works for you. Okay, another one. This is oak. So I'm going to show you red oak and white oak. Well, if I can find a white oak. <laughs> or maybe a, a burr oak, which is similar to white oak. But this is red oak, okay? And really prominent uh, veins as well. And the serrations are one serration along it, okay? And elongated. And when you look at the white oak, instead of pointy, like the devil, like red oak, it's round uh, white, okay? So, oak, red oak, pointy like the devil, at the serrations, and white oak, and a baroque, uh, if we find it, is round. Okay? Oak. Okay, two ashes you have to know. White ash, black ash. Ash um, is a compound leaflet, meaning that all these leaves make up one leaf, which is a leaflet. Okay? And um, black ash and white ash. So, white ash has five to seven leaflets on the compound leaf, and black ash has seven to nine. And you're like, oh my gosh, wait a minute, that, that's confusing because five to seven, seven to nine, what if it has seven, which this one does. Well, I'll show you without taking the leaf off here. Oh, oh, sorry, <laughs> you took the leaf off. It's actually the stalks before the leaflet, okay? So white ash have stalks, okay? So it comes out from the twig uh, or the, the, the stalk itself, the main stalk. Whereas black ash, when you see that, and hopefully we can find it, hugs it, the stalk, okay? So that's a big difference. So if you see a little tiny stalk right there, then actually it's going to be a white ash. If it hugs it, the twig, it's gonna be black ash. And yeah, ash, uh, not doing so well right now because of the ash borer um, beetle. Uh, and, but they make baseball bats out of it. Or aluminum bats, I don't know, it all depends what you want when a, someone comes and robs in your house. Um, no. <laughs> or play, if you want to play baseball. Okay, another one. Uh, beach. Okay. So beach. Take a little one here off. What the heck was that? So this is made by a beaver. It's at scent mound. So you see how he's crawled out of the water. Got on top of here. And he screets his... Uh, his musk uh, out of his anal gland to mark his territory and then slides back in. Okay, beech. Um, actually, there's an interesting, it, it took me a while to, to pull that off. Beech do not like letting go of their leaves. Uh, so it's very, um, very um, strong petiole. Uh, it actually uh, really attaches onto the, the twig. So in the wintertime, you'll always see these beech leaves, even though they're, they're not green anymore, they're actually uh, dead and brown, but they'll stay on uh, the beech. So um, supposedly, they, uh, it's a busy park today. Um, they all wonder what I'm doing. Uh, so the, the settlers used to pull this off and stuff their pillows and mattresses. Or something. I'm not sure if they did it or not. They, uh, but okay, so beach, it has very prominent serrations like the elm, but the base is, is it asymmetrical or symmetrical? It's symmetrical. Symmetrical? Yeah. It's the same. So the base is symmetrical, meaning that the bump cheeks are the same. Okay, not one bump cheek's bigger than the other. And what do you call a small little beach? A son of a beach. <laughs> okay, I found the other oak, white oak, okay? Some uh, squirrels nibbling away at this to get a, at the acorns. So see how it's not pointy red like the devil? It's, it's round, okay? So that's white oak. Baroque is similar, but it has a really uh, corky bark. And since I can't find where this fell from, <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is white oak, okay? Right, all right, so white oak, not red and pointy like the devil, has round tip, okay? Okay, another leaf. Let's see if I can get a good sample here. It is sugar maple. Okay, so you have to know red maple and oh, Angel, get back here. 
Just stay here. Angel thinks we're in the wilderness and can wander off wherever she wants, but we're in a park. Uh, all right, sugar maple. You have to know uh, red maple and sugar maple. Sugar maple is the one you see on the Canadian flag, and how you identify it is that it's a U-shaped lobe right here, okay? U-shaped lobe. Angel, stay. U-shaped lobe. When I get to a red maple, if I can find one, red maple is more like a bush than actually a, a tree, like a hardwood tree. Uh, it's softer wood, too, than the than the um, sugar maple. You can get maple syrup from both, but this is better. So, okay, sugar maple, U-shaped lobe. When you get to a red maple, it's V-shaped lobe. And actually, it's what you see on the Toronto Maple Leafs hockey home jersey. So it's on the flag, red maple's on the jersey. Okay, U-shaped lobe, red maple is V-shaped lobe. Okay, even though we're looking at deciduous uh, leaves, I just saw something in the bush that was really kind of cool. Angel, get over here. Come on. Um, is a, a white pine, but it's a wolf tree. So have a look at this. Now what a wolf tree is, is that the loggers came in here a long time ago uh, to cut the pine, but they left that one. Uh, too many knots in it, and it's got a double crown, so they didn't want it, so they just left it. Problem with that is that that's what's left to uh, uh, drop the seeds for the future forest, so white pine forest, and genetically it's not the great greatest thing. It's almost like, you know, your odd cousin and being the last person in the family to have children. <laughs> just saying. Okay, next one is one of the softest woods, uh, is basswood. So we'll get one of these leaves here. Kind of heart shape, pointed tip, fine serrations along the edge. Big key indicator though, first of all the stock is really soft because it is a re really soft, even though it's a hardwood, it's very soft wood. Uh, but <laughs> it's huge, it's a big leaf. So if you found yourself hiding having to hide your tuchus in the woods because you got caught, um, I would actually use a basswood leaf to hide it, especially if you have a big tuchus. So a basswood, okay? How do I remember that? Basswood sounds like... <laughs> okay, I have black ash right beside white ash. This is kind of cool. So, um, black ash. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's one leaflet. But this one here, same tree, has nine. So once again, white ash has five to seven, black ash has seven to nine, okay? But the key is see if there's no stalk that connects the leaflet to the stalk, the main stalk, okay? It hugs itself. So you know that's black ash. White ash has a stalk, see? So there's actually, oh, there's actually a stalk right there between the leaflet and the main stem, okay? White ash, black ash hugs itself, white ash doesn't like itself. These two should not be beside each other, by the way. A habitat makes a big difference. Black ash likes its feet being wet, meaning a swamp and white ash likes being dry. So why this is growing right beside it, I have no clue. This is why nature is interesting. What else we got? Okay, this makes more sense. Black ash in a swamp, okay? So black ash, I, I, I'm not gonna take, tear the leaflet off, I'm just gonna show you. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so not seven. So it's a good indicator that it may be a black ash, but See how there is no stalk, okay? This leaflet hugs the main stem, okay, of the compound leaflet. Black ash, cool. It's a beautiful day for a walk. I wanna show you three poplar, very popular tree. <laughs> Spelled differently, by the way. Uh, but there are two right here. I'll try and find the other. The other is large tooth aspen, so I'll see if I can find that. But we've got trembling aspen here. So, trembling aspen, poplar. If you see this chalky, whoops, see this chalky substance on it, I can rub it off. 
you put that on your skin if you run out of sunscreen. Anyway, also if you have a headache, take the inner bark, make a tea out of it, it has ASA in it, just like an aspirin. So take the headache away. But why this is called trembling aspen is its petiole leaf is really loose, like that. See? Oh, even fell off. Really loose. So when um, the barometer drops, meaning that the rain is coming, these flip over and show their white sides. So if you see the, the poplar uh, flipping, even other, other trees will do it too, but trembling aspen is really known for it. They flip over and show you the white side instead of the green side then you know the barometer is dropping. If the entire tree is doing that, it's going to rain for at least 24 hours. If half the tree is doing it, you know, a couple hour rain shower. So, the leaf, shaped like a heart, but without the, the crack in the butt. Uh, very fine serrations. And there you go, trembling aspen, very small leaf. All right, so then you look at the balsam poplar. Here's the, oops. Here's the balsam poplar. So here's the balsam poplar. Okay, lance-like leaf, meaning it looks like a lance. Fine serrations as well. The key indicator, well, the lance-like like, um, leaf is a good indicator. It looks like, again, like a spear, spearhead. But you turn it around, and it's rusty appearance on the bottom. Rusty, gooey, too, gooey. Like, these things are really gooey, and they taste terrible. Um, really sticky, like this stuff is all over my hands now. Uh, but yeah, rusty appearance on the bottom. Balsam poplar. Okay, I found red maple, and uh, it's a lowland area. Red maple like their feet wet, uh, like sugar maple. Um, they're more of a weed tree, meaning that, that you know they're more of a bush that you you cut the limb, they'll grow right up uh, from that. But the big thing is you look at the the leaf right here, and it's a V-shaped lobe, not U-shaped lobe. So there you go, V-shaped, okay, not U-shaped like the sugar maple. One of the softest woods, actually. Um, basswood's softer, but yeah, crappy firewood, crappy firewood. Sugar maple is really good firewood. Red maple, that's so good. Okay, just driving along the side of the road, and I found the last leaf uh, that I've been looking for. Large tooth aspen. So it's one of the poplars, right? Really easy one. It's got large serrations, large teeth around around it. Large tooth aspen. Okay. There you go. I think that's all. Large tooth aspen, trembling aspen, balsam poplar, large tooth aspen. Okay, beautiful fall day on the front porch, side porch, whatever it is. <laughs> I thought I would also show you the leaves on cards as well. So a little bit more detailed than wandering around the woods. And also a test afterwards, a little bit of a quiz. So I'm gonna go over the species that I wandered around and looked at in the woods. Here's one, that is called elm, okay? So why it's elm? Serrations, like a saw, along the edge, okay? They, um, they also, the base of the leaf, um, the bum cheek, one's bigger than the other. It's asymmetrical, okay? So all elms are like that. One side's bigger than the other side. All the others are flat, or not flat, but they have equal bum cheeks, <laughs> okay? So elm, you've got red oak and white oak. Okay, so red oak um, has uh, um, serrations are pointy, like the devil, red, red oak, and white oak is round, not pointy, not red like the devil, okay? So white oak, red oak. Beech, really, two, well, three prominent things. One is it's land slate, it's uh, pointy, like a, like a spear, um, but very prominent veins, okay? Really prominent veins, oops, a little windy here and single serrations along it and equal bum cheeks okay so really prominent veins single serrations beach red maple and sugar maple so sugar maple u-shaped lobe one that's on the, the canadian flag red maple v-shaped serrations v-shaped lobe okay and it's the one that's on the uh, jersey of the Trail Maple Leafs home jersey. I believe it's home jersey. Basswood, okay, very large leaf. Serrations along the edge. It's got a really prominent two bum cheeks, okay. <laughs> and yeah, just a big leaf. Your poplars, this is your trembling aspen, shaped like 
they say it's shaped like a heart, but it, it has a, a, a base, a flat base. It's more like the Ace of Spades and deck of cards, to be quite honest. So it, it got fine serrations, flat, flat bum, okay? And again, really loose on the pedial and flips, okay? Balsam poplar, spear shaped, lancite shaped, okay? Uh, it's got really, really fine serrations. I wouldn't even say it's serrated, but yeah, it, it does have a little bit of bump there, but that's about it. But the really prominent thing about this, rusty appearance on the bottom. Looks like a kind of rusty uh, color to it. And gooey, gummy, disgusting smells, whatever you can tell, tell when, you, when you see one for real. The other poplar, large tooth aspen. Easy one, large teeth on it, large serrations. Okay, so large tooth aspen. The ashes, okay. This is white ash. So white ash again has five to seven uh, leaflets on the compound leaf. Black ash has uh, seven to nine. Okay, so it can get confusing if it has seven. <laughs> so how you uh, tell the two, two apart? White ash has a stalk right there from that leaflet to the main stalk, okay? Black ash does not, it hugs itself. There's no stalk. The leaf goes right to the stem. Big difference. And they like their feet getting wet. White ash, not. All right, I'm gonna shuffle them all up. Oh my lord. You ready for the test? All right. Shove them all up, shove them all up. All right, you ready? Leaf number one. Leaf number two. Leaf number three. Leaf number four. Leaf number five. Leaf number six. Leaf number seven. Leaf number eight. You can hide your tokus with this, remember. It's a really big leaf. And you might have a big tokus. So you need a big leaf if you have a big tokus. Now I forget what number I'm on. <laughs> One, two, three. Four. Leaf number nine. Rusty appearance on the bottom. It's a very popular leaf. <laughs> leaf number 10. Look at those large serrations. Look like large teeth. Hmm. Oh, what number I'm on now? Oh my lord. One, two, four, five. Leaf number 11. Number 11, I'll give you a hint, it's one of the ashes. It's either white ash or black ash. And last one, leaf number 12. This is the other ash. It's either white ash or black ash. Okay, we're gonna take them up. Number one was red oak. Number two was beech. It's not spelt like a sand beach, by the way. The spelling counts. B E E C H, beach. Number three, trembling aspen. Trembles in the wind. Double serrations, asymmetrical base. Number five, white oak. Number six, sugar maple. Number seven, red maple. Number eight, basswood. Number nine, balsam poplar. Number 10, large tooth aspen. Number 11, black ash. And number 12, white ash. Add up your score and let me know down below what you got. There's lots of more leaves, but I found that these are some of the prominent ones. And there you go. All right, thanks for coming out. It's such a beautiful day. I'm gonna go for another walk.